family and friends to beautiful Fombal, PA, summer home to our North Hills High School Fighting Indian Marching Band. Tonight, the band is concluding its 62nd band camp here at Camp Conakry with our traditional Friday night preview show. We are all very happy and excited that you could be in attendance this evening. Please sit back and enjoy the show. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce the award-winning North Hills High School Fighting Indian Marching Band, the band of pride, tradition, and excellence, led on the field by drum major, Gabe Stanton. America the Beautiful, also referred to as the National Hymn of the United States, was written in 1893. This poem, written by an English college professor, was to depict the great landscapes and scenery of this great nation. Tonight we pay tribute to the beauty of our nation with a longtime favorite arrangement of the band, featuring trumpet soloists Nate Spear, Courtney Baumgartner, Steve Knott, and Gabe Stanton.
Although the Indian beat always fires up the home crowd, let's hear it for the North Hills High School Fighting Indian Marching Band. Let's go, Indians! summer here uh, with for band camp with the North Hills Marching Band. I'll talk um, with you just a little bit between each show. It gives our kids a, a chance to get some water and, and, and rest a bit and, and just let you know about what we've been doing and, and what our season has um, to come once we get back home. Uh, tonight is a really unique night for, for our kids and for our program. There's never another time when we'll march and play as much music as we, as we do tonight. Um, and, and even so, tonight is just a preview of, of what is to come. It's not even really the beginning of our season. Um, along with our stadium review, preview night creates the bookends for our season. Um, all, you'll see four different shows tonight. That was our pregame show, which we'll play before each one of our pregames, um, uh, before our football games for the pregame. Um, but each is a, uh, in a different place, as, you, as you'll see tonight, as we, as we build our band together up here at camp. Um, most importantly for these students, this is their last time, and especially for the class of 2013-14, this is their last time on this field together. And I know that's what they're thinking about tonight as they perform together for you. All of our students, your students, have worked incredibly hard this week. Probably the uh, hardest they've ever worked in their life. Um, and uh, 
We have 57 fabulous rookies. They're taking the field tonight for the first time. That's almost one out of every three of our students. It's an awesome day. Um, each one of them has a senior who's been a big brother, a big sister to them this week. And uh, the, our rookies have been amazing additions to our, our, our group. Um, the, um, at the same time, our rookies from last year don't look like rookies anymore. We have great year second folks that, that are, are strong leaders within our group. And with a strong sophomore and junior class led by our seniors, we have a really wonderful season in store for us. I'm sure um, our student, your students have grown very, very much in many ways this week. Um, we've learned a lot of drill, we've learned a lot of music, but we've learned a lot about how to live together, how to work, how to do things for ourselves, how to support each other, and um, I think those are the things, if anything, that you'll notice when our students come back. After rehearsing eight hours a day, uh, when we come back to our two hours a day rehearsals during the school year, it'll be a breeze, and this is our training camp uh, for our season. Um, and so while this marks the end of our band camp, it's just the beginning of our season. And we're uh, very excited to, to have you join our band here at Conakwee, which is our, our summer home. In addition to this being our 62nd year here at camp, it is the 52nd year for our March show. So we have a, an exciting, a little twist on our March show this year, a little themed March show. So I'm going to go check in with the kids, and we'll be back um, with our March show right after this. Thanks again for coming and joining us. It's a beautiful night. successful composers in U.S. history. He is noted to be as easy to recognize as John Philip Sousa, Aaron Copeland, or Leonard Bernstein, illustrating why he is America's composer time and time again. He has won countless awards and has led many national and international orchestras, such as the Boston Pops Orchestra from 1980 to 1993. This year's March show continues the tradition of bands, Big Ten style precision march, but with a twist, John Williams style. With its popularity in the late 1970s and with its recent return to the big screen this year, Superman has made us all want to believe that we can have our own superpowers against the forces of nature. To open this year's march show, John Williams style, the band separates and tries to find the superpowers within themselves while doing the traditional countermarch to Superman.
forces of good and evil have been fighting each other for millennia. With all the releases and upcoming release of the seventh Star Wars movie, there cannot be a better way to depict this than through John Williams' orchestrations to Princess Leia, Imperial March, and of course, the Star Wars main theme. Please watch as the flags and majorettes battle the forces of good and evil with the routines and dances to save the universe. Featuring saltless Sam Bell on horn and senior woodwinds Haley Oaken, Caitlin Wagner, Kylie Donahue, Troy Bucklemeyer, Jocelyn Klein, Sarah St. Jocks, and Elena Gowdy. show John Williams style with the ever popular Raiders of the Lost Ark. With all of Williams orchestrations such as Harry Potter, E.T., Jurassic Park, Schindler's List, The Towering Inferno, Saving Private Ryan, and of course Jaws. This piece can be recognized by millions across the world along with all the others mentioned. We could not find a better way to enter the John Williams March show than with the treasure hunter himself, Indiana Jones. Sit back and listen to the bombastic and triumphant sounds of Raiders March.
This is what I want. What I heard from my face is that I'm there are many parts to an organization like ours. Uh, you know these students uh, on the field very well, um, but we need to thank um, a lot of other folks that make our group possible. Um, I, we are very, very lucky that, that uh, we live and, and work in the North Hill School District, and, and I would like to thank our district for recognizing what a unique and special opportunity this is for our students to be part of the band and to come here and to spend this week together building and learning. Um, I'd like to thank all of the members of our administration, but we had um, several, we have several that are here with us tonight. I, I know that Kathy Reed and Arlene Bender, our school board members are here tonight amongst others, and our superintendent, Dr. Manorino, is here as well. So please welcome them and thank them to our coming On Saturday morning, you might have meant um, noticed as we were leaving a man that you didn't recognize on um, on the buses with our students going right down the line. And um, that is our new athletic and activities director, Dr. Dietrich. Dr. D took the time on Saturday morning to come up early and greet each one of our students before, he, before they left for camp. He encouraged them, he congratulated them, and he offered his assistance in every way as he gets to know them better throughout the season. Our students were impressed, our staff was impressed with how genuine this man was, how caring this man was, and how interested he was in every one of your students. I think we found a great leader here for our school district, and I'd like you to help me welcome Dr. D here to Bay Camp for his very first time. <laughs> We have a staff that loves being here, loves teaching, and, and, and cares for, for all of our students very, very much. Um, our directors, if, if, you all, if you all stand up, are, are Chris Rodak, Jessica Webster, Sarah Snyder, Jeff Lucas, Julie Forbes, and Leah Bacardi. Our percussion instructor is Phil Webster. Um, who is a, a professional percussionist in, in Pittsburgh and plays with the River City Brass Band. We're very, very lucky to have him on staff. I think Jess and Phil are, are back sitting with, in, in the audience somewhere, as are a couple of other directors. If you could please welcome Phil up here with us. And routing out our staff, our Anthony Thomas, who's been with our band since he was a drum major and will be a, a teaching assistant. He was, just graduated from Duquesne University and will be a teaching assistant at Highcliffe Elementary next year. And Michael Stetner, who's finishing his pharmacy degree at Duquesne University this year. So please welcome Anthony and Michael. We've had wonderful nurses with us this week. Uh, we've had a very healthy week. Um, as you know, we, we, we focus on stretching and hydrating and eating well. And um, these two ladies have done anything that your students needed, from the littlest bumps and bruises to some encouragement when we needed it, to um, um, an upset stomach and, 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 and um, anything at all that our students needed. Um, they are both band parents, and they, and they cared for your students like they, they were their own sons and daughters. So please help me thank very, very much Kathy, Laura, and Jen Stanton, who I know are, are both I think Kathy's actually over with our kids right now, passing out Tums for those nerves. Um, I'd like to welcome um, our student teacher, my student teacher for the fall. Um, Kayla Searles is from Duquesne University, and she doesn't start till after Labor Day, but you probably already recognize her. She's been here with us all summer. So, Kayla, thank you for all your work with our students. And one of the really neat things about our program are our graduate assistants. These are students that are in different parts of, of life, many of them music majors, who, who come back and, and, and help our students in many, many ways to doing the behind the scenes work, like painting this field when it needs painted, and moving the things that need moved, to encouraging our students, to modeling for our students. This year we even had brass quintet music during our meals, if you were here for that, which was a, a very, very nice and refined side to being here at Conakry. So I'd like to thank all of them, and most of them could be here tonight with us, um, but I'd first like to, to thank Mar Mara Rushlander and Tommy Newcomer. If you can both stand, Mara works, works with our woodwinds and Tommy with our brass players. They do a, a wonderful job. And back for their second year are Mike Zek, Robbie Kaup, Evan Perez, Evan Yester. If you could thank each one of those students for, for, uh, for coming up and all that they do. Members of the class of 2012. Got that right? Okay. And with us for the first year, and we'll be coming on for this season up here with us, are, are Rachel Gamis and, uh, and Alexa Porter. So if they could both please stand. Thank you very much. Back with us also, and, and I, I forgot her for a moment because she left and came back to go and check into Slippery Rock. Please thank Sarah Litz, who was here all week and working with our horns as well. <laughs> 
We also had a couple wonderful visitors this week. Uh, Miss Kay and Mr. Matthews were able to come up and, and visit us. Um, and, and I know Mr. Matthews is back here again tonight. And it's always wonderful for our kids to see them. And I love to see how much our kids enjoy talking to Miss Kay. Um, even though none of our kids that are in the band today had her, they all know her through through the experiences that our 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 students have passed down. And um, we had a couple of alums stop up. I know we have alumni from at least four decades here in several states here tonight, and I welcome all of you. And uh, we also had uh, a good friend of mine, who was the drum major of my junior year up with us, um, Dan Lucas, the brother of, of, of Jeff, one of our directors. So it meant a lot for us to have all those people here this week. We also have a wonderful booster group here at, at North Hills. Our NHIP did so much be before the, your students even started the year. And um, I would encourage each and one of you to find a small way to be involved and to help out with, uh, with that group. Um, it's, it's a wonderful group. I was down, we, I was in Bethany Beach um, during the weeks that we had off and there was a group of band parents just vacationing together in uh, Ocean City, Maryland and we went down and had dinner together. But that came truly from the time that they spent together building this wonderful organization. And, and so I'd like to thank all of our committee chairs and our chaperones, our, our IPM members, and especially our executive board, our secretary, Shelly Bosnack, our treasurer, Tony Snyder, our vice presidents, Robin and Leon Perez, and our president, Annette Nolish. If you can thank all of them for all that they and as we look forward um, to, the, to our season, um, you know that we've already passed out fundraising information. Um, we we want to make every opportunity possible for our students, and that's why we work so hard and dedicate ourselves to that. So we passed out uh, fundraising information for our spring Disney trip already. If you have any questions about that, you can contact any of our executive board members. You can check our website for those forms. And when we come back, we'll have a, a couple events in the next couple of weeks. We'll have our pep rally. So we'll have, we'll have sales there and concession sales at the community pep rally on Wednesday night. We'll have hot dogs, things like that. Uh, we'll have our vendor fair, which is a new event next Friday night in the middle school gym, which we talked about. We'll have vendors of all different kinds. Um, so come and check that out and, and support our group that way. And then we'll have our group mattress fundraiser again for the third year during the first week in September. The last event I told you about um, uh, the three big events of our year. We have our we have our preview night. We have our um, stadium review, and others our band festival, chaired by the Stanton family this year. So um, you've all registered when you register for band. You register for a committee um, to help out with our band festival that we host every year. So I'm sure the Stantons will be contacting you, or their committee members will be contacting you and talking to you about making that come um, to a reality very quickly once we once we get back here. So. I'll go check on the band one more time in a second, but next we want to give you an idea of how our homecoming and senior show will look this year. Um, we started this show about 30, 36 hours ago, so this is our, our newest show, and um, uh, you'll notice all of our shows are very different, so you'll hear a very different kind of music in this show, and I think that's one of the best and most educational parts of what we do, is that our students get to play a lot of music, learn a lot of music, and that music is all different. So if the kids are good to go, you'll see a preview of our newest show. Um, you might recognize some of those tunes, especially the younger folks in the audience, um, um, but we'll be back with our senior homecoming show in just one moment. Dynamite became the second number one single on the UK single charts in the Canadian Hot 100, as well as topping charts in Belgium, Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand. The song reached number two on the US Billboard Hot 100, and by January 2012, it had sold over 5.7 million copies in the US and Canada, becoming the second best-selling song by a British artist in the digital era. This is Dynamite.
Feel This Moment is a song written by American rapper Pitbull featuring American recording artist Christina Aguilera, taken from the former seventh studio album Global Warming. The song was released on February 4th, 2013 by Mr. 305, Polo Grounds Music and the RCA Recordings as the fourth single from the album. Watch closely while the flags and majorettes dance the evening way to Pitbull's Feel This Moment. shown on Broadway in 1957 and later to the big screen in 1961. The musical explores the rivalry between the Jets and the Sharks, two, nates, two teenage street gangs of different ethnic backgrounds. The two main characters, Tony and Maria, fall madly in love to find out in the end that they cannot be together. We open our show with one of the big dance numbers from the musical, Mambo. <laughs>
Maria is sung by the character Tony when he learns of his love's name, Maria, whom he has fallen madly in love with. In this moving arrangement, Steve Knott plays the role of Tony and sings to his beloved Maria.